you how you can build your page with Eliminator. Okay, let's go on the website and I will show you how you can and work with Eliminator. Okay, let's go on the website. First, I'm going to show in front of the Eliminator. Okay, if you want to, if you don't have an Eliminator, you just uh, you can also download from the wordpress.org okay you just write their plugins okay and when you will click on this wordpress.org you need to click on plugins option okay and uh, when you will click here you need to search here eliminator okay when you will click here you will get here eliminator page builder and you can see here 5 plus million active installations and uh, you can also download from here and I told you in my last videos how you can download this you just need to download zip file and when it will be you just need to click on this option just uh, and you can also download it you can also see the version 2.914 version and last update is all these things okay and uh, I'm going to show you another way how you can download on your website you can also download from here you just need to go on, go on wordpress.org and search in plugin option Eliminator page builder now when you will write uh, Eliminator page builder it will look like that and you will just click on download option then it will be downloaded you need to just upload in plugin option okay all right you must be understand let's go on the website i'm going on my website okay and uh, i will show you how you can and download from your website okay let's go on the website and i'm going my website okay okay here we are I just came on my website and uh, you just need to click on plugins option and uh, here you will write here now you will click on add new option you just need to write here eliminator page filter and when you will write here it will show like that you just need to install it and activate when it will be activated it will show in your sidebar like that i just uh, i have already downloaded it okay and let's go up we are going to decorate the page with eliminator okay you need to go on page option and here you will click add new okay then you will click on add new option you will see how we will connect with Eliminator okay here we are so you need to click on any title okay like I want to give you just tutorials okay and uh, I will write here tutorials and I'm going to you need to click on th with this button okay you will whenever you will click on add it with Eliminator okay it's going to take some downloading and sorry loading and after that it will be okay here we are you can see it okay uh, i just got it like that okay now i can uh, i can work with eliminator on this page okay i just give the name tutorials and uh, first you should go on the setting option and because this is working on home software and i'm going to change page layout you need to click on eliminator the mouse okay when you will click here and publish it it will change because it will before it was looking like that half page and when i will pay eliminator the mouse i click it it will be like that okay I just publish it and you can see it there is nothing at all okay let's go and uh, first I show you how what I want to add here add new section okay in this section if I click here now I got a bar like that okay I got a block like that okay first uh, I want to change this box size change column gap how how much I want to keep height vertical align overflow HTML tag like that okay 
okay stretch section i can also stretch this section if i click here i can stretch it okay all right you must be understand okay and boxed content width okay and uh, i can change the size as well you see the change the size of the box is going to be changed like that okay i just click it and it will be complete like that column gap however i if i want to keep it narrow extended wide it will be wide okay and if i want to keep it fit to screen it will be fit to screen like that okay all right you must be understand and column position what i want to i can i got column inside it i can keep it top bottom middle and if i keep it bottom it will be bottom okay uh, i show you the column where it is as you can see it is on the bottom of the this okay and i can also vertical align bottom space between as i want okay let's go and i can also html tag as well okay i can also change the structure as well okay let's go on the style you need before i was working on the layout now um, i just came on style option i just click here and now background overlay what type of background i want to keep it okay yeah i click here classic if i want to keep it classic i want to keep and if i want to put here image okay uh, i will put here image like uh, i just click here and have got some some pictures i just click on the in the picture and uh, you need to insert it okay then it will insert you will see is how it's looking like that okay on the screen okay all right and you can also change the color of the you know you can also change colors you can also if you want to take it dynamic the content and then you need to get great version but you are beginners and so that's why you just practice it first on this page okay all right and you you can also keep it where you want to write left right you can see it the changing bottom center of uh, how i can adjustment okay score when i will click here it will be score also okay all right let's go on hover option before i was going back wrong overlay i was working okay and uh, uh, border how what type of border i want to keep it okay and you can change the um, change the you see before it was black and opacity so i can also keep it dark as well if i want to blur it i just click it it will be blur also okay yeah, okay I, if i want to keep like that okay dark it will be like that i can change the size and cover okay it will be like that if i keep it r2 it will be like that and if i contain like you can see all these changes and if i click on repeat it will be repeated okay let's go and blend mode if i can't i want to overlay it will be overlay as well okay if i want to see ss filters like blur brightness as i want to keep it i can also add it okay and let's go on the border option and uh, what type of border i if i want to dot it double uh, dashes okay i just click it and you can see i just added border dotted so i can also structure i can change the structure of the you know of the this image okay if i click on the width with option and here i write here just like 100 you will see the completely pictures completely change and border size is not looking very good okay and if i keep it 10 it will look like that and if i change different size i want to keep it you just keep right here okay I, but i didn't put any so it will be like that it will show you like that okay and uh, now let's see uh, i'm going to write with i also told you before it 
if I put dynamic content I told you before you can add it here okay and if I want to keep it green the color of dots I want to green like blue as I want to change it I can also change it okay all right and uh, let's go on the radius and if I keep it radius like that you will see the shape of the picture is, is going to be rounded you can see it if I change it I show you something more if I do it 50 by 50 and you will see how it look right okay and uh, you can also shift the divider you can I, I, uh, if you want to curve it you will see eh, the curve will come on the picture like that okay if you want to keep like a book it will be book as you see and uh, if you want to spill it arrow like that and um, as you want you can want to keep it you can change it zigzag clouds like a different you know as you see the picture is looking like that okay all right let's go on the height color as you can see it the clouds shapes as you want to keep it you can change it okay you can also change the colors okay Be behind the type of color if i want to keep it white it will be white green blue as i want it will be changing okay but i think so white color is looking a lot better and i just select it white okay all right let's go and uh, now i am going to show you flip uh, if i flip it you will see it it will flip like that okay and uh, if i invert it it will also invert and if i bring to front it will also come in front okay all this changing you will see okay and now typography you can also typography okay heading colors like all these things you can also change it okay all right shape divider i just show you all these things link if i want to link colors okay link over colors text line left right as what you want to okay let's go now now I, I told you i keep this on the bottom okay now what i want to add here okay if i uh, if i want to keep it like uh, i want to divide it in a vertical as i want to change it the size all these things i can also do it okay all right i just keep it in the bottom all these things okay first i show you how you can divide all these things okay and let's go and you need to just click on this edit column you can also edit it if you want to duplicate column just you need to click on duplicate you will see i've got one more option okay and uh, if i want to to, to cut it off one by one because uh, all this changing i will get it you can get and change it okay all right you must be understand this is the front of the uh, of the you know page okay let's go and here what i want to keep it if i want to keep it uh, like uh, i want to take headings just you need to click on headings option and just drag and drop okay with me just try it and how you can drag and drop here okay all right you just need to drag and drop here as you see i just want to add some headings like that and here if i want to change the heading size i can also change it yeah, HTML tag heading size H2, H1, you know it very well. H1, if I change it, it will be like that. Okay, heading size will span like if I want to keep it different. Okay, like uh, okay, I can keep it aligned left, right. I can also change the style as I want. Okay, I can change the color. I just um, before I select it to uh, you know green color but it was looking a lot better before if I select it white color it is looking a lot better here so I just add here white color okay all right 
let's go and uh, now typography what type of typography you want to keep it family okay and here in this family you will change headings what type of you know writing style Arial, Tom, you know system as you want okay like I just click here and you will see the heading you know writing style is change and uh, what type of I want to keep it 800 as I want okay it will be changing okay you can see it I just put it uh, overlay here that's why background overlay that's why it's coming going okay and you can also transform okay uh, you can also change uppercase lowercase capital normal okay it will be normal like that okay here we are now i'll just show you something else okay you can also go on the address and here you can also change the size margins okay if i write here like that you see the size of the margins is going to be completely changed okay all right if you want to keep like that smaller you can also keep it smaller motion effects what type of motion effect you want to keep it you can also change the background okay and uh, here is too many options you can also get if you want to you know edit image behind this i mean you want to add background you can also add background behind this like I just insert the page you know I just insert the picture behind this and you see because this the size of the box is so small that's why you can't see the picture properly but if you want to see it you just change the size you can also see size you can also you know, change the color of the you know background type or type of you want to keep it just as you want to it will be like that okay and uh, background type if you know what type of background you want to keep it you can keep it okay in this lecture i just show you how you can just pick in the background and how can you decorate your page okay and so i just show you some more option and in, in this eliminator you have got too many options okay you just need to work on this and uh, when you will stop working you will surprise you will have got too many options inside it and you will work okay motion effects you want to keep it like a uh, as you want okay background all these things and let's go i just show you some more options okay all right and uh, default fonts what type of fonts i want to keep it scandry body text in accent okay all these things i just apply it okay and uh, now i am going to add here one more headings here just like that okay i just adding add headings so i just i want to cover my time as well so i just click here to add image okay and uh, I just click on this option and uh, I just click on this image and I will insert it you will see I, uh, I can also upload images as well that just doesn't look right to me okay and you will just click and uh, you can also cut it off as well okay I just uh, I'm going to also get, get headings here okay like that in this you just changing the design okay <clears throat> okay let's go and now we are going also i want to add here space okay you will just click here and you need to click on the space okay you just click here and drag and drop here okay you will see i have got spaces between there okay and I can also space increase as I want okay like that you can see it the size of the space yes it's going to be big smaller as you want you can also change advanced setting okay all right thank you for today video is you must be learned okay thank you uh, I will meet you in the next video bye bye